In this video, let's discuss a bit about SSL certificate chain. I'll begin with a short story. Once upon a time, there was a Khaleesi. Khaleesi wants to take over the Iron Throne. But before that, she has a greater threat to deal with. It's this dude, the Night King. What the Night King wants? Well, only he knows that. Khaleesi is building an army to fight against the Night King. Now our poor Sam Tardy also wants to fight in the Great War and asks Khaleesi to include him in her army. But the Khaleesi doesn't know Sam Tardy yet and says that she doesn't trust him. Now Sam asks Jon Snow to help him out. Jon trusts Sam and tells him that he will talk to Khaleesi on his behalf. But Khaleesi and John doesn't know each other yet because this hasn't happened yet. So she also doesn't trust John. Now John seeks Tyrion's help. Tyrion says, John, I trust you. You can bring in whoever you trust. I'll talk to Khaleesi. Tyrion talks to Khaleesi now and he says, I trust John. And since Khaleesi trusts Tyrion, she tells him to bring in whoever he trusts. So now Khaleesi trusts Tyrion and Tyrion trusts John, who trusts Sam. And this is how Khaleesi trusts Sam and now he can join the army and fight in the Great War. Now enough of Game of Thrones. Let's talk about SSL certificate chain. You already know that whenever you want to host your server over SSL, you are given an SSL certificate. This SSL certificate given to you is called end user certificate. Now there are two types of certificate authorities out there, root CS and intermediate CS. In order for an SSL certificate to be trusted, that certificate must have been issued by a CA that is included in the trusted store of the device that is connecting. That's if you are given a certificate to host your server over SSL, that certificate must be trusted by one of the root CAs present in your connecting device, that's your browser. You already know that your browser contains a lot of certificate authorities. However, if the certificate was not issued by the trusted CA, the connecting device will then check to see if the certificate of the issuing CA was issued by the trusted CA and so on until either a trusted CA is found at which point a trusted and a secure connection will be established or no trusted CA can be found at which point the device will usually display an error. This list of SSL certificates from the root CA to the end user certificate represents the SSL certificate chain. In our example of Game of Thrones, Khaleesi was the root CA. Tyrion and Jon Snow were the intermediate CAs. And Sam Tarly has an end user certificate. Each of these CA issues a certificate to the one below it. Khaleesi issues a certificate to Tyrion, who issues a certificate to Jon Snow, and who issues a certificate to Sam Tarly. And this is what our SSL certificate chain is. I hope you got a fair bit of idea of what an SSL certificate chain is now. If you find this content interesting, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.